All right, let's turn to uh, Leviticus chapter 17. Now, last time we shared uh, the story of the Day of Atonement and what that really means. And uh, a Day of Atonement uh, as a just sacrificing uh, animals for the, uh, the Israelites at the same time as a feast, what it really means. So today we're going to talk about some other miscellaneous laws that God has given to Israelites. And let's read first. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and to all the people of Israel, and say to them, This is the thing that the Lord has commanded. If anyone of the house of Israel kills an ox, or a lamb, or... A goat in the camp or kill it outside the camp and does not bring it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to offer it as a gift to the Lord in front of the tabernacle of the Lord blood guilt shall be imputed to the man it has shed blood and that man shall be cut off from among his people this is to the end that the people of Israel may bring their sacrifice that they they sacrifice in the open field that they may bring them to the Lord, to the priest, at the entrance of the tent of the meeting, and sacrifice them as a sacrifice of a peace offering to the Lord. And the priest shall throw the blood on the altar of the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and burn the fat for pleasing aroma to the Lord, so they shall no more sacrifice their sacri uh, sacrifices to goat demons, after whom they whore. Uh, this shall be a statute uh, forever for them throughout their generation. And you shall say to them, Any one of the house of Israel or of the strangers who sojourn among them who offers a burnt offering or a sacrifice and does not bring it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to offer it to the Lord, that man shall be cut off from his people. So, when you read this story, what God is commanding the Israelite to do is when you, when you kill the animal for the sacrifice for the Lord, you don't kill it from anywhere. You have to bring it to the tent of meeting, which is the tabernacle. That's where you need to kill the animal, and that animal should be offered to the Lord. So God is telling, telling them, not to sacrifice elsewhere. Don't do it at other, you know, other places. You have to bring the animals to the place. As I mentioned before, Israelites or the Jewish people today, they don't give any you know, animal sacrifice offering anymore. Right? They don't. Why? Why don't they do it? Is that too much work for them, or is it because the old law? Why aren't they doing it? This is God's law. They don't have the tabernacle. Okay, clothes. What else? Anyone? Yes, this this is a, you know God's law that was given to Israelites. It, it, this law has to be followed, you know, generations to generations. But they stopped doing it at some point. And why did they stop doing it? Because they don't they don't think it is worth it anymore, or. They want to do it, but they cannot do it. Why? Because there is no temple. Because there's no temple anymore. Right? The Jerusalem is where the temple is. That's where they need to build the temple. The, what, the very first temple was a Solomon's temple. Right? What was the second temple that was built who built the second temple
Hmm? It's been too long. Zerubbabel. After they came back from the captivities of Babylon and Cyrus, the king of the Persia, they freed the Israelites and he sent the Israel back to Jerusalem and tell, told them, you should rebuild the temple. You don't know that story? So let's just take a look at this. Let's take a look at 